Hi, I'm Amanda of InspiringInking.com. Welcome to my craft room. In today's video, we're going to be making this gift bag. Well, actually not just this gift bag. We're actually going to be making three different sizes of gift bag. And this is a video one of two. And there is going to be another video showing you another three sizes, maybe even four. I'll kind of explain that in a minute. Now I'm calling this the Any Size Gift Bag. And if I explain, I started out making um, a bag using six by six inch pieces of paper. I had quite a few of them and I wanted to make something using that specific size. And then I decided that I could probably make it bigger or make it smaller. So I did. So I'll show you all the sizes right now. So this size uses two pieces of 12 by 12. This size uses two pieces of 10 by 10. These are inch sizes. This size uses uh, eight by eight. This size and kind of where it all started is six by six. This size is four by four. And this size <laughs> is three by three, that's so cute. And this size is madness, okay? So this is two inch square. And it's really tricky to do. I will show you how to do it, but I'm not entirely sure what you would put in it. It's not very big at all. But because I could, I did. So today, let's put these back. We are going to be working on these three. So the eight inch, the 10 inch and the 12. And then video two will do these. Okay, so let me put those to one side. So all you are gonna need is a scoring board, um, simply scored, obviously. It's the best one there is and um, a bone folder. You're going to need a, um, a punch um, to make the holes for the ribbon. You're gonna need ribbon and design a series paper. Now, <clears throat> what I've actually done is I've done templates for all of these and I've got some PDFs. So there'll be a PDF going with each video that you can just go over to my blog and just um, just download it and then you've got the, the measurements. So don't worry too much if you can't get the measurements as we go, but honestly, they're so easy. It's, it's yeah, it's really, really straightforward. Um, <clears throat> so I'll start with the biggest and we'll go from there. So this is 12 by 12. Now, one thing that's really important for you to think about is which side is going to be um, the outer bit of the box and which is going to be the inside. I'm gonna make a nice Christmas one. So this is gonna have the trees on the outside and then the folded over piece is um, going to be this red size. Um, and then I've got some coordinating, because everything in the Stampin' World, as you know, coordinates garden green ribbon, and that actually coordinates with the green there. So, let's get my measurements there. So put it in, and when you're using this uh, scoreboard, make sure that the paper is always tucked up right hard against the top edge and the side. Make sure it's square in. And we're gonna score at three inches on three sides. So the left hand side, the bottom, I'm just turning it a quarter turn each time, the right hand side, and then you're gonna score at one and a half inches on the top. So we're gonna do exactly the same with the second one. Three inches, three inches, three inches and one and a half. Okay, so 
I'm going to move that out of the way. Now use your, your bone folder and if you've not come across Stamping Up Bone Folders before, or before um, they are actually made of cattle bone. So um, there are a lot of plastic ones on the market and they're really not as good as the cattle bones. Um, but that said, obviously, if you're a, a vegetarian or a vegan, you probably won't want to use that. So that's important information for you to know as well. So that's those pieces. And then I'm going to score here as well. Um, I think if I turn it this way, you'll be able to see better on this side. So we've got uh, two squares here and we're going to cut the two pieces of paper <laughs> with the scissors that aren't here. Hold on one second. Scissors and glue. I'm going to need both of those. Um, we're going to cut them differently. So this one, we are going to cut the squares off completely. Now, we're crafters, right? So we're not actually going to throw those pieces away. You could uh, make a tag to decorate it, uh, make a matching card, all sorts of things. And then on this one, we are going to cut two flaps so so let me show you so this is actually uh the front of the bag so that's going to go like that these are the side pieces and then these are the side flaps so let's turn everything around so that you can see this properly so this piece is going to lay down and stick over the top of the matching centerpiece on the other um, on the other piece of the bag. So I'm going to put Tombow all the way over there, like that. So pop that down. Okay. Then I'm just going to put a little, <clears throat> little wiggle of Tombow along here. Um, I haven't done this on all of the bags, but certainly with the bigger bags, it just helps keep it tidy and keep it straight. So, put that there. Just want to lie flat. Right, there we go. Okay. So now all we're going to do is fold the bag up, it's so quick. So what we're going to do is these square flaps, we're going to put glue on there and then put that piece on and then stick that piece on. So we'll do the two flaps first. I'll do this this way and then hopefully the camera will be able to pick it up a bit easier for you. So what you're actually wanting to do is just make sure that that base is actually square. Make sure it's square in. And then we're going to put glue on these flaps here. So all the way along and a good squiggle on each side. You can use double sided tape if you want to but Tombow multi-purpose glue is always my glue of choice. Um, I prefer it. So, and what you're going to do is just make sure that the top, this piece here, is actually lined up on both sides. 
because that's the piece that everyone is going to be looking at. And there is your bag, pretty much completed. Um, the bigger the bag, the more ribbon I tend to put on it. So, oh, about that much. So that's about 16 inches. Um, you're gonna need to be able to tie a knot in it so it's better to go longer with the ribbon than shorter. I am going to then punch Punch two holes on one side, two holes on the other. If it's important to you, please do measure them, measure where the holes go. I don't tend to, um, I do it by eye and mostly it's okay. Sometimes, sometimes it goes a bit wrong, but generally it's okay. So I've just threaded the ribbon through and I am going to tie a knot and then just snip off the end. And then that knot just means, you'll be able to see, it just holds it, secures it on that side. And then I'm just gonna do the same on this one. And that's kind of why you need a little bit extra. Um, so that's there. And then this side, doing exactly the same. If I do it that way, then you'll be able to see better. So then, just tie a knot. And I'm not doing any kind of fancy knot, I'm just doing an overhand knot. So that one is there as well. So snip those two pieces off. Okay. And so there you go. So there is your first bag. So that's brilliant. And you know, I, I love the fact that stamping up all the papers are double sided and it means that you actually get to see both sides of the pattern, which I think is really cool. Um, I've made this bag just square, but if you want to give it a bit more shape, if you put your fingers here like that, you can just sort of squash it in and it will give you, um, Sort of more of a gusseted effect let me just squash that in a little bit more like like that so that will give you that more sort of shape um on my templates i have put in um, a size for the base card so um you can put cardstock in the base um and i'll show you on the next one where i would put that okay so that's your 12 by 12 so now i've got two 12 by 12s so actually I'll move that one out of the way and we'll put the new ones there. Okay, um, so let's do the next size. Um, and the next size is 10 inches. So this is 10 inch squares. And this has got a stripe on it. So I'm just making sure, which way am I doing this? Yeah. I'm just making sure that I know which side is the top. So this one is scored at two and a half. Two and a half. Two and a half. And one and a quarter. So the second piece is exactly the same. So two and a half. Two and a half, two and a half, and one and a quarter. Okay, so bone folder again. Now I'm hoping that the camera doesn't go a bit crazy. Sometimes with checks and with stripes, doesn't like it. Um, but hopefully it will be okay. We'd have the checks on the outside and the stripes on the inside. 
nice, so I'm just reinforcing that. Okay. So let's glue this bit down first. So again, what we're going to do is we're going to cut squares off. We're going to cut a square off here and here. And then here we're going to cut, again, it's easier to see up near the side, we're going to cut along this side here. So it's actually the horizontal line. It doesn't work properly if you cut it the other way. So, okay, so if you want to reinforce the base of your bag, now this is actually quite sturdy because it's, it's two layers of paper, but if you're going to put something really heavy like a jar or, or something like that in it, or a mountain of chocolate, which would be my preference, but um, if you're going to put a lot of stuff in, then putting a piece of cardstock inside is a really good plan. So on the PDF and on my template, if you look here, it says base card and the base card for this size is two and a quarter by four and three quarters and that you will actually stick here. So that's where you would put it and it's a quarter of an inch smaller all the way around to make sure it will fit inside. But I'm not actually going to do that with these bags. I'm going to leave them as they are. So let's put this one on. So that piece is going just there. I've got glue on the bottom now. Right. And then we're going to fold these pieces in. A bit of random ribbon there. Fold that bag piece up there and that one in there like that. So they come together so quickly. Um, and it's it's just great to have different types, or well different sorry, not different types, it's all the same bag, but but different sizes because you know it, I love to have a bag that will match a card or a card that will match a bag when I'm giving a gift to somebody. I just think it looks really nice. Um, and they know that you'll have made that. Um, and they'll really like that. So it's a good thing to do. So don't throw these away. Okay. So bag number two done. I'm not actually going to do the ribbon again because you guys know how to do that now but I do want to show you this ribbon. This is Pear Pizzazz and it is glimmery ribbon and I'm actually going to use that again I think in a minute. No actually wrong one. I was going to use the black ribbon on this one. This is super cool. It's glimmery same as the other one but look sparkly. So anyway so Oh. so that will go like so and on my blog post I will make sure I've finished all the bags and I will show you all of them but ju I just don't want to make this video too long for you so the last one this is eight by eight um and this paper this is part of the the daisy daisy paper love this move that out of the way. So this time we are scoring at two inches on three sides and a one inch on the final side. So, ooh, right, I just need to check, look, because this has got stripes running. So I want to make sure that the stripes are going to be doing the same thing. So if I do that with the one inch first, I 
are my stripes going the same way? Uh, no. Okay, so here's a top tip. If ever you score something wrong, use your bone folder and go over it and invariably it can be like it never happened. Okay, so I'm going <laughs> to do this again and make sure that my stripes are going the right way. Yes, so they're going the right way now. So let's start again. So two inches, two inches, two inches, and one inch. And let's fold that over. Fold that over. Yay. Awesome. Right, so it's all the right way, and honestly, you will never know that I scored that other bit wrong. That is the joy of a heavily patterned paper as well. Now, I'm using patterned paper. You can use stamped cardstock. That would work really well. It would make the bag even more sturdy, which is super cool. Um, but you will really have to work hard on all of these crease lines and all these score lines. So don't... Um, don't be afraid to use your bone folder and make sure that you are really reinforcing those score lines. It's the one thing when you're making bags and boxes that is really, really important to do. So let's, my grid paper's slipping everywhere today. Um, so let's fold that piece over like that. And that piece over like that. And then on this one again, so we're cutting off two squares. On this one, we're cutting along the horizontal line the top of the square, but not cutting it all off. And then we're going to stick this piece on top of this piece. So that's going to go on there like so. And then we're just gonna fold these in and glue this. So I'm going to do exactly the same with this one. Um, I'm just going to finish off the bag. I'm not going to put the ribbon on um, because then I can get it all, get the, the video finished for you so you can go off and make stuff. So that's that one. And that's that one. Put plenty of glue on. Um, and if you leave it not quite to the edge, it won't ooze out then. So that's always a good plan. And then we're just gonna fold that piece in. Make sure your top's lined up. And make sure that one is as well. Okay. So that is your eight inch square piece of pieces of paper. Now what I haven't actually said, and this is really important for you to know, is how big are these? Okay, so this one is four inches by five inches tall, and it is two inches wide. And this one is five inches wide by six and a quarter inches tall. And it's two and a quarter inches high. And then this one is six inches by seven and a half. And it's three inches wide. This is a really big size. So that's the three sizes. Um, so yeah, this is the glimmery, look at this colour. This is the glimmery Perthazaz ribbon that goes with that one. So let me just put that one there as well so you can see. So that's going to work really well. So that's the three sizes. So you need to come back uh, next week 
for the video um, for the next three sizes and the teeny weeny weeny one um, which I will I will film for you all of the information if you're on YouTube and you click see more underneath the video it will actually detail out there all of the measurements but also a link back to my blog and a PDF so you can actually just print it out because then that's so much easier for when you're crafting so I hope you've enjoyed today's video there are links to all of the items that I've used in my online store if you'd like to purchase anything do pop over to my blog which is www.inspiringinking.com I hope to see you again soon Take care. Bye-bye.